A new finding from the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine finds that about a quarter of Americans 65 and older are socially isolated, and more than 40% say they feel lonely. COVID-19 has highlighted these issues, especially among seniors, and our Chloe Thibault is here this morning. She's been following this, and how much of an effect loneliness can actually have on someone's physical health. Good morning, Chloe. Hi, Sharon. Good morning. Yeah, research shows that prolonged social isolation and loneliness can have adverse health impacts comparable to smoking 15 cigarettes a day. It's a serious issue that's getting nationwide attention. Every now and then I miss tactile sensation. <laughs> I'd like to give somebody a hug. 84 year old Beverly Kelly says COVID-19 hasn't changed her life much. She just misses her family and wants to hug the people she loves. It's what gives our life meaning. Eleanor Rennie is on the same page. She's 80. I think you have to reach out to other people. Otherwise, you just get so isolated that it's not the way life is supposed to be. On Thursday, the Senate Aging Committee held a hearing to discuss the importance of social interaction among seniors, especially in light of COVID-19. If seniors are isolated for a long time and don't have human contact, uh, that they tend to have develop serious health problems. Senator They're Collins says those risk. problems include an increased risk of stroke, heart disease, Alzheimer's, and depression. When it comes to COVID-19's impact, it's worsening the health conditions that are caused by prolonged isolation. That's why seniors are encouraged to reach out if they're experiencing signs of social isolation, like feeling sad or bored, being withdrawn, or not enjoying their life. But the responsibility can't just addition, fall on them. Family members and friends need to make a special effort to keep in touch with seniors. Because Mainers are resilient, and sometimes it's hard to ask for help. I think people just have to realize that it's the time that you, you should be really good to other people that sometimes you just take for granted. Now, a committee with the National Academies of Sciences, Engineering and Medicine has come up with some solutions to address social isolation. Those include improving awareness among the healthcare workforce and the public about social isolation and strengthening ties between the healthcare system and community networks or resources. Live at home this morning, Chloe Thibault, New Center, Maine.